How's it going, ladies and gents? Reverend Saint back again with a new series, kind of, I guess. It's more of a one-off, and I'll do a second episode eventually when I come up with something to, to talk about for it, I guess. But welcome to Overwatch Competitive, or Competitive Overwatch 101. And basically what I'm going to talk about in this series is, even though I'm new, newer to Overwatch, I'm only like level 28, 29 or something like that, uh, and I just started playing competitive, and I just got ranked and, and all this stuff, but I would have won every single one of my uh, placement matches if it weren't for, and maybe, maybe except for like one, if it weren't for this one key factor and it, it still affected me even after i got my placement which was 52 for any of those who are wondering i'm now 47 because i haven't won a game since due to this one important little detail or this definitely at least had a big impact on it all right so 101 the most important thing about overwatch competitive is understanding how the competitive side of overwatch works it's not how good you are with this character it's not how good you are with that character yes that helps a ton and if you are just a god if you're a young god at genji then fine you can play genji as long as you're actually doing the work that needs to be done and you're doing it good uh, but here's the thing that most people don't quite understand is you might be very good say even very good with a specific character so you're super good with soldier 76 you're super good at the call of duties and overwatch all right you pick that character and you stick with that character throughout the entire thing but you start struggling on certain points in the game or certain points in the specific map that you're playing and you're not being able you're not able to to continue doing what you need to do in order to win the game now of course we're talking purely competitive here we're not talking quick play who cares about quick play that's what this gameplay is by the way that's why i was just running around with Farah trying to kill people and stuff like that uh which actually our genji in this game did absolutely amazing so there, there's that uh, but this is strictly for competitive the point of competitive is to win and rank up quick play more for playing having fun and, and changing stuff around and maybe learning some new characters and stuff like that so we're talking specifically about trying to win in competitive so anyway back to what i was saying if you're running around with soldier 76 and you're doing good and then you stop doing good you just hit this part of the map or the next map isn't quite as good uh or going as good as you had thought it, it would or as it would normally go if you're playing your favorite character you need to change dude you need to adapt to the situation i feel like that is the most important rule of competitive overwatch is to understand different types of situations man certain situations there's going to be other characters that are just better than soldier 76 even though you're very good with them they're, it's just going to be better. Even if you're not good with this other character, it's still going to be better for your team and uh, give you a better chance at winning if you're playing that character. For example, uh, when I was doing my placement matches, everyone picked their favorite character. There was like a, there was a Mercy, there was a, a Genji, there was a, a McCree, and there was a, a, a Zarya, and, and I was like, I, uh, I we don't have a tank, a real good tank. You know, we got Zarya, sure, she can stay alive, but she's not going to do any damage, really. Uh, or a lot of damage unless she's super good. What do I gotta be? Roadhog. I had never played Roadhog and by the time I was done doing my placement matches, I was pretty confident with Roadhog even though we had lost a bunch. Uh, and, and I can guarantee the reason why we, we lost these games wasn't because of me. And I, and yeah, you can tell that by how good you're doing in your medals. If you're getting gold, it means you're in first place on your team or tied for first place in the least. Silver is second place on, on your team in that category. Bronze is third place. And then if you don't have a medal, then you're with the other three people on your team, basically. In that category, there's eliminations, there's, there's objective kills, there's objective time, there is damage, there is healing, and I think one other thing, yeah, damage blocked, I think, might be the other one, which is pretty much exclusive to Zarya and uh, and Reinhardt for the most part. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's that's for them uh, primarily. I can't remember all of the categories because I don't pay attention to all the categories because I don't always play those characters. Uh, but nonetheless, if I'm going in and I'm switching characters, I, I switch in this one series, I switched up between Soldier, Farah, Lucio, Roadhog, and I want to say, I want to say one other person. It might have been Widowmaker. I'm not sure. I want to say one other person in there and i had five golds and one silver and that silver was oh i almost out healed our healer like with soldier and roadhog that was it 
That is how good I did because I switched to different situations that I had to switch to. I knew this map wasn't as good with Farrah. Farrah is my best character, period. I do the best with her consistently. Uh, but I know there are certain maps and certain and, and capture points that are just better played with like a soldier. Someone who is on the ground rather than Farrah. So I'll switch to that person. Or if my team is just being completely ignorant and not switching to what they need to be, I gotta be Roadhog, and I'll do that because that's gonna help us win. That's the point of competitive mode. So, basically, what the the most important rule is, I'll, I'll reiterate, is situational awareness. Understand what this point is, what the strong points of this capture point is. Understand what the strong points of each character are. Not just picking your favorite character and sticking with it through five games. Yes, that series I, I mentioned where I got five golds and the silver went five games we crushed them the first time the first hill we are not like a hundred to zero we annihilated them next one we lost like 90 to 20 next one we lost again like 90 to 20 and then we won like it was like i think it was like 100 to 99 i think it was right there on the on, at the last second and then the next one we got annihilated why my teammates had not switched characters one time throughout all of those maps except for one guy who switched from genji to may at the very end of the final round that was it and of course they tried to blame it on me because i was only level 27 at the time i was trying to get my placement matches done but i know for a fact due to all the bling i had holding the tab key that it was not my fault i especially if you have objective kills and objective time in gold you you know you're doing what you need to be doing at that point and that's that it's just so frustrating for people who are actually trying to win and if you're playing competitive modes that's what you gotta do so most important rule 101 is understand the situation and change your character uh, according to that situation not just picking your favorite character and staying that character throughout the entire match or, or picking the character you got a cool skin on and staying that character throughout the entire match so look at your stats understand okay I need to step it up be humble enough and understand like I'm not doing so hot right now I need to figure out something that's gonna work keeping this character obviously is not going to work uh, and, and, and don't blame on other people. If someone's trying to say, hey, maybe we should have one of these guys, and you know you're not doing too good, boom, be that guy. Just do it, man. It's competitive mode. You're on a team. You're trying to win. Just do it. So that is the most important rule, in my opinion. That is the first rule that you need to know when playing competitive Overwatch. So if you guys are into Overwatch, if you guys are, are starting your competitive run, do that man be willing to switch be real willing to drop your your pride and be like all right i'll switch off my favorite character because we need this character over here no one else seems to be switching so i'm gonna do it be that guy that makes you the most valuable player on that team easily if you can start switching things up so anyway that's the video guys let me know if it helps you guys out let me know if you guys agree with me as well like i said i'm new to overwatch especially competitive overwatch i'm going to be making these videos as i learn things kind of so uh, I'm, I'm learning along with you guys learning so I'm trying to basically share it with you I thought it'd be a fun cool series to share with you guys it's obviously not gonna be uh, like have set times it's just gonna be as I go uh, type of thing so thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and a comment down below don't forget to share it with your friends and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you have not and I'll see you guys tomorrow for yet another video peace